Wow. All I could have hoped for was this kind of feedback on the apology video to FaZe Clan. But actually seeing it, 13,000 people thumbs up the video and only 1.3 thousand disliked it. It was around the amount of people who have left comments that we are not the best. What I expected, what I truly expected to see was the opposite. So very, very happy to see that. And I would like to thank everyone who supported that video and just you know, shared some positivity for me in the comments. That is much appreciated. Now this video is a chance to reach out to those not so nice comments, possibly change your mind and just maybe get down to the root cause of this rage you're feeling inside because some of these were just a little angry. I'm gonna start by reading five very nice comments that put a smile on my face. And then I have five not so good comments that kind of represent all of the mean comments because they are all pretty much talking about the same thing. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this. Nice comment number one, Lyra or Lara, thank you very much for this. They said it literally brought their sensitive ass to tears. That is my bad, I did not, not what I was trying to do. I was the only one who should be getting upset, but I really do appreciate the support. Having been a supporter for you as long as I can remember back before you joined FaZe and everything, I remember all the difficult times you went through and all the difficult times, your determination to strive for what you wanted to achieve got me through over the last six years. Everybody on this earth makes decisions we regret, things that hurt us. At the end of the day, we're only human, we're only as strong as, and as smart as our body allows us to be. Kind of crazy to think I've been watching and supporting you since I was 13. Now I'm 18 and getting ready to go to college. That's five years. It's a very long time. As I said before, thank you. Made my life easier without even realizing it. And regardless of what happens to you and FaZe from here, I'm proud of you. It takes some serious guts to make a video like this with the raw emotion that was backed in it. Some people will say you made this as a pity video, but I can feel your pain in my own perspective. Keep your head up and stay strong. What a fantastic fucking comment. The people who could actually tell I was being genuine are the people who have been supporting me from the very beginning and just watch me consistently and know when I'm being serious about something. It's comment number two. I knew he regretted it. You could just tell that he wasn't as energetic as he used to be when he was in phase. When you look back at his old videos, you can see such a huge difference. That is very true. I was not as energetic in any of my videos. I can... I can definitely agree with him on that. I saw him win the first one under the name Dare Cushion. He can definitely win this phase five too. I got top 20, which is, you know, it's pretty close to winning and I got recruited a little bit later, but you know, you get the gist of it. Thank you for the support, Z-Day. Now we're on to nice comment number three. Hey man, keep your head up high. Everyone deserves a second chance, regardless of the situation. I've been here since you were in phase and I've gotten into many COD lobbies with you. I have supported you and will continue to support you. Love you, man. Shout out to O Whites. I appreciate it. He's not really doing it to live in a mansion. He genuinely liked the people. And if you really stoop that low to say he just wants money, you're wrong. Please unsub all fake subscribers to Carl. Do some people need to read that last part again? If you're fake. We don't need ya. Thank you, Ocean. And thank you, Snaz. You definitely deserve another chance. Can't wait to see Face Carl again. Hopefully. Now, I can tell every single person leaving a nice comment is someone who has still supported my videos. And they're just people who have been with me for a long time. And they can tell when I am being genuine. Thank you to those people. Now, to the people whose comments I'm about to read and to the other people who might be commenting right now. You probably don't watch me on a daily basis. You probably don't tune into the streams. You probably don't know what kind of person I really am. Please don't put thoughts into my head and please don't assume why I do things. Because, you know, take any other person in the world, for example. You don't know what they're thinking. The only thing you know right now is you're thinking about s typing in my comment section that my channel is dead and I'm only doing it for money. Even though here's me genuinely telling you that that is not the reason that I made that video. That that's literally all I can say because, you know, that's the truth and that's exactly what I'm thinking and feeling. And you can't, I mean, you can say that that's not correct, but... Are you in the year 3000? Because you, we haven't figured out how to tell what people are thinking yet. So kind of confusing me on that. Oh, that is why I'm making this video because just hopefully I might be able to convince one or two people that, hey, <laughs> maybe he's not a douchebag. Maybe he just genuinely wanted to make things right and apologize because he knew how big of a mistake that he made. Also notice with these comments, I'm not showing their name because the one thing with negativity, the reason it spreads is because people respond to it. Yes, I'm responding to it, but I'm trying to do it in a slightly positive way and I'm trying to change their opinions here. Bad things happen, they get publicized, more bad things happen. Just gotta be nice to people. If you have something negative or mean to say, 
Honestly, it's best to just not say it because you're just going to start shit. Take this guy, for example. You don't deserve another chance. LMAO, you thought you were better than them and now you're poor and not getting views. You go crawling back with your tail between your legs. Ha <laughs> ha. You left phase. You left red. Now you want to leave sore. You're nothing but a glory chaser. Fuck off. You don't deserve to be in a team at all, you dull cunt. All you're concerned about is yourself. The leader of sore is an idiot for even keeping you in the team after you made this video. Now stop crying and sort your fucking hair out. You look like a little bitch. I do need a haircut. Thank you for reminding me. Also, I did say in that video, I messaged Max, the leader of SOAR, friend of mine, before uploading the video, told him what the video is about and that I wanted to upload it. He said, go for it. I support you. Make sure you pay attention to the video so you don't comment something like that. Max is a great guy. Now, a good amount of these hate comments are talking about me being poor and needing money. My financial situation, none of my viewers business. I have not had any trouble paying rent or paying my utilities with my earnings from Twitch or YouTube in the last three years. I don't own a house, I rent one. But like I said, been perfectly fine. My financials, none of your damn business. Do I talk about your earnings, your bank account, your financial situation? No, because that's yours, that's your problem. Well, hopefully not a problem. Mine, not a problem. Not your issue either. See where I'm getting at here? These people are just, uh, they're assuming things that are nowhere, nowhere near correct. If I really, truly, truly wanted money as badly as these people think I do, the title of every single video I upload would be titled Ninja Tifu or some Fortnite clickbait bullshit that'll get me a million views in 24 hours. But we're not about that life here. Anybody who's watched me for a long time should definitely know that. All right, number two. This guy saw FaZe blew up and went, shit, Soar's dead and FaZe are rich. Makes a vid crying. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you're new to YouTube, but FaZe has been a really big team for a really long time. Are they gaining popularity right now? Absolutely. Is that the reason I wanna join back? No. Thank you, though, for your comment. When you flop and now you don't get money, so you make a fake-ass video trying to make a little to pay rent? <laughs> Just wrote a check and paid rent two days ago, buddy, but like I said, that's none of your damn business. Of course, these people have no idea that I'm streaming, apparently, because they're never stopping by. They're never seeing the amazing support that you all show me every single day. So how would they know? Ah, they just assume... The greatest thing you can do, not know if it's true and comment about it. Okay, I was going to do five mean comments, but I realized the fourth one I had picked out was just basically the same thing as the other ones. More people who are just talking about my bills. If you want to help with my bills, tune in to my Twitch and donate. Other than that, don't talk about them. All right. This one's my favorite. Yeah, just start crying and talking like a bitch. You wouldn't have made this vid if it weren't for FaZe blowing up in Fortnite. You know damn well that's the reason why you want to join back. Do I know or do you know? Once again, how does he know what I'm thinking? I think we all should be worried. There's people who know what we're thinking. Oh wait, no, there's not. Only I know. Thank you though. Wouldn't have wrote this, but you start the video off with you teary-eyed and being pathetic. Grow the fuck up. Just trying to act like a pussy for empathy. Apparently this guy's made of stone. Have you ever been sad about anything? Let me just sit there with a smile. Oh, I'm so sorry that I left FaZe, guys. Oh man, I'm real bummed out. What are you doing? That was me being real. Now, if for whatever reason you have a problem with that, you can click off the video and have a great rest of your day. That's fine by me. Because apparently there's no possible way of me getting to you and you getting me. Did I have to make this video? No. Did I want to make this video? Yes, because I would very much like the people who supported that video to know how much it genuinely means to me. And I really wanted a chance to just voice my opinion, and I very much wanted a chance to voice my opinion to the other half of the comment section. I have no quarrel with any of you. I don't even know your first names. I don't know your favorite food. I don't know your favorite color. I'm not gonna go as far as to get mad at the fact that you're spreading hatred towards me and that you don't like me. I don't have the energy not to like you. I'm a busy guy. And just really think about what you're doing, okay? The world would be a much better place if everyone was just nice to each other. Maybe a lot less people would die. It's just as simple as that. Be nice, and if you can't handle that, you need to change something about your life. Because being nice to people is the best part about being a person. I love you guys. I have not heard anything back from banks or anybody yet, 
but I have received support from a few members like Agony and Muse, and I'm very hopeful, and I will keep you guys up to date with it, obviously. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you guys for your support. And if any of you have Amazon Prime and you want to hook it up to your Twitch account, you can subscribe to my Twitch for free using Twitch Prime at twitch.tv slash Carl. As always, my friends, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day. A farewell and a goodbye. That channel, who the fuck said that?